here we're going in everybody. We got a, another machine here. I've been trying to do this video once. Had a bit of a problem with it. Didn't want to go through. I don't know what happened with it. But this time we got a JCB TM420. It's kind of like a wheel loader with an extendable boom on it. It's a little bit different here. I'll flip it around and get started on this. And this is what we got here. No wheel loader here. I was here on the boom part. See, I've got a wood block up underneath there. Main reason being, if you look at those tabs sticking out underneath the bottom, if I was just set that flat down on the floor, it would actually mess those tabs up a little bit and put holes in my floor. So that's where I put the wood block in. Of course, you put my chain wrap around here up to the, the connector points there. And as you can tell, I got it strapped. Try to keep any further damages to either the chain or their hookup point there and then back down to the other side <laughs> come around here you see of course you know I can use my little chain to come up out of the bed and here I've got them crossed it's actually a little bit sturdier here in the front end here and it also helps because that boom is setting all the way down it makes it hard to even get them on there and go up underneath of it so that's why I've got it loaded this way so I can put the boat up on the deck just makes things just a little bit easier to where the chains touch no tires and of course here I've got the little padding in between the chains so because with these rubber tires it's going to sit there and bounce and as it bounces those chains are going to go loose tight loose tight just beat up against each other and we've been some damage those chains enough for each kind of independent replacement we're going down here a little bit windy out here today and maybe this hair has a swivel point articulating as they put it so um, this one doesn't have that but it has on the steer shock those red supports there that are usually mounted right up there on that little silver uh, bolt sticking out I'm going to take them off and put them on there that way it keeps it from being moved either way otherwise you will have to hook a chain from over here pull it this way and one on the other side pulling the other way if you don't find a way to lock that in and from articulating That's the same thing over here. Got it tied down, ratchet strap, or ratchet it on into the right here. See how that tab sticks underneath that block? That would actually go down into the bed and it actually puts holes in there, bouncing down the road. Because these things, trailers, they bounce around, move around, everything kind of bounces. That's why every time you do these, you want to keep the check on your, every time you stop, check your chain, straps, everything, because they can have a tendency, they will move, will bounce, especially when you got something with tires. That's what happens. And as I was saying before, if you find this helpful, a like on it make a comment anything you want me to touch base on or other ideas to go on let me know subscribe at least lets me know that i'm doing something right for a change catch you on the next round